When you hate your mouth just as much as you hate your ass, get yourself a big plate of hot wings and crank up the Mythwits, the show dedicated to all things geek pop culture, drenched in absurdity, and cut it with sarcasm. Every week, we try to be funny, but this one's, I don't know. It's going to be funny. It's going to be sad. Pathetic. It's going to be funny for you. Um, I'm your host, Peter Bryant, and joining me on this episode are my co-hosts, Mike Kafis. This is his freaking idea. I can do this. I can't do this. Scott Pond. I'm Wilford Brimley, and I'm going to get diabetes. <laughs> Tory Pond. Who are also known as Skatori, uh, and that this is a, a cross event, so Skatori Mythwits. And joining us as well is Violet Lavoie, <laughs> named author and movie reviewer. And she's great if you need to really boost your numbers in your draft. Right. She's, she really hauls fifth right. place like a champ. Yeah, I, I have a confession to make about that. I recently, for, for my PTSD, I recently got a prescription for medical marijuana. Yeah. Whoa. The day bef- the, the hour before that show, I had not really quite worked out my dosage yet. So if you, if you look at that show, my eyes are kind of at half mass, and I'm not really making any sense. That's fine. So, hey, hey, that's us. Yeah. Whatever it takes. <laughs> so you're baseline with us. Right. Okay. That's awesome. You know, yeah. you know, in case this isn't hot enough for you guys, Tori and I actually got you some extra oh, sauce. Nice. Oh my god. I, yeah, I think I think they're going to be hot. I think it's going to be hot enough. I think, we're good. I, I, think yeah. I think I'm good. So, I think I'm you good. know what? Right. We'll just we'll we'll just keep that on the on the the back burner. The back yeah. burner. <laughs> Well, well they suppository size, so yeah. could, that's true. <laughs> I think back burner is tomorrow morning. Right. Yeah. So this Just show, so the bend show. over and tilt it in. What well, you so should have said is this is the antidote. Right. right. That's how you should have built it. Well, so the hotness score for um, hot peppers is measured in Scoville units. Mm-hmm. So for this show, I think they should be Scotori units. Yes. 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 Cool. Like See, that. that's where we have to it on. See what happens when you're not all. When I'm not high, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to go through this. We've got to get started because we're at 9.15 already. Okay. Uh, so the goal of this is if you've ever seen the Hot Ones, this is, this is basically our take on the Hot Ones. Um, we're going to ask – we're going to do five because we don't have time to do ten questions. They have editors and all that all the time in the world. So we're going to do five. Uh, and every question, we're going to need a hot wing. And Mike, which which direction do they go? Which, <laughs> which, which, which I forgot. Oh. Uh, no. Uh, they, uh, we're doing um, American reading book type of thing. So we're starting from this side. And if you will follow along in your um, psalm books, that, that's where the, um, the hippy-dippy is... Is first, right. and then, and that's and the slightly greenish one. Yes. yes. Okay. Right. So it's a, it's a verde. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So oh, it's a multilingual. Yeah. <laughs> or, yeah. All right. First so time <laughs> I thought French was my own. Um, all right. So Tori is going to be our questionnaire. Uh, Captain America, Will Conway has handed out cards. Please think of a question to ask us, and then Tori, about mid-show, we'll, we'll get when we're getting into the end of the second question, oh, Will will come and collect the questions, and then you just. Pan through them and pick out two. Okay. All right? Perfect. Um, so we've each done, we each have a question. So the Mythwits put out for a question. Skatori put out for a question. Vala put out for a question. Uh, and Tori, you are the question master, so you can start with anyone you want. All right. So what comic, novel, TV show, or podcast? Are we eating first and then answering? Oh, wait a minute. You're supposed to be eating now, right? Oh, yeah, we oh, eat. We, yeah. Got Let's it. eat okay, as so she's eat. asking, and then we can answer. Got it. Okay. All right. All right. So wait a minute. Left or right? Yes. Good. All right, so what comic novel, TV show, or podcast would you love to see become the next big thing? Hmm. All right. This, uh, this, this first one has some, has some heat on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 You're so screwed. Wait till you get to the last one. Uh-huh. Yeah, sorry. So the, the one that they're currently eating is the Hippy Dippy Green, and that one has a Katori unit of 2300 2300, you know, okay. It's not bad. Can you, can you like, compare that with like a jalapeno or. I, I mean, how do we I, know? I will try to get that answer for you. Someone to Hey, Bruce, can you? Oh, 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 o
Very good. Oh, yeah. like this is a good yeah. medium yeah. hot. If you like hot food, yeah. Yeah. I said medium yeah. hot. Yeah. 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 So, so I would I would say that that this one is like when you go to like a Chinese restaurant and it has like a pepper symbol yeah. on it. This is where you are. Hey, Pete. Yeah. 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 If you could pick a TV, yeah, okay. so we're going, we're going this way. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, we're going this way. All right, so. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna name my boy Scott Sigler. I would love to see uh, I would love to see uh, Nocturnal or or GFL. GFL so would be we, awesome. So would he. Yeah. <laughs> so say we all, right? <laughs> but yeah, that would that I would love to see that because this it. stuff is so rich. I think GFL would be the best for a series because it's just so rich. There's so many you get so many sideline stories and all all kinds so of stuff. Good. Agreed. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I. <laughs> I would say Make a cartoon Yeah Oh cartoon Cartoon maybe. would work yeah. oh. I would say That um, Buck Rogers I want to see Buck Rogers Brought to the 21st And a half century <laughs> 21st And a half century Buck Not duck But yeah Okay You duck I would take that A crossover <laughs> You know That actually leads Into my answer Of course it does So I would love to see Howard the Duck you no know, gritty crime drama. <laughs> oh God! Oh, I like yes. that. Only if Violet writes it. Right. Yeah, I, would, I would love to do that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh. Um, so I'm from Philly. There's a comics artist there named Rob Woods. He's kind of an underground sensation. He's just all black and white drawings. The most I don't. It's like it's like Basquiat meets Mary Fleener meets. He's just he's a madman. He's done some illustrations for me, and every time I see his stuff, I just think, why aren't you more famous, man? So I would love to see an animated series based on his stuff. <laughs> All right, you guys ready for number two? Mm -hmm. Yes. No. All right, so number two is the Los Calientes. Los Calientes. Which is 36,000 Scatori Wow, that was a so jump. A little bit of a jump up. Yeah, yeah a little bit. A little bit of a jump there, Mike. All right, so by, by the way, this is Mike's episode. He put all this together. Your bowels can blame him later. Yes. It's yes. good. It's got a little so, cumin in it. So are we supposed to eat the whole week? No. You don't have to you eat can, the whole week. No. You have to take a good chunk. You can eat as much as I you want. I challenge you to because Violet's eating most of it. I would stuff. challenge anyone in the audience. I mean, you know, within reason. If you're like, hey, so, you know, keep an eye on everyone here. You know what I mean? Keep us honest. But right. uh, but a good, solid, yeah. healthy bite yeah. is all. I don't, I don't want to see not, this. Not the I don't Scar wanna... Scarlett Johansson yeah. episode where she's like, <laughs> <laughs> No. All right, ready? I, I dispute the scotori units on this one. I think this one's less hot. This one's less yeah, but this hot. has got a nice spice yeah. kind of flavor. Okay. But it's tasty. Mm -hmm. right. So your Damn. question this round is, what is the most humiliating teenage moment you have or young adult moment? All right, I got one. Oh, so, um, I'm in high school. It's gym class. We're riding around the... Oh, go we're, we're walking around the, um, the high school track. And there was a girl in my class who was just, she just didn't have it together. You know, she was overweight, she had acne, she was awkward, she was, she just was not there. You know, and I were walking around the track and I noticed she had put on her gym uniform inside out that, that morning. Usually, I'm a pretty compassionate person because I've always been on the geek side of things and everything. But just that day, I don't know what it was when I saw that I was just like, Come on, get it together. You're in ninth grade. I don't care how awkward you are. This is just unnecessary. And then I hear one of my friends call, Hey, Violet, your uniform is on inside out. <laughs> nice. So most embarrassing. So picture this. Young fat kid. Poor family. I'm there. So constantly picked on as a kid. Tie in stuttering. And seven years of speech therapy. So you finally start getting over that in high school and have to do one of those presentations in front of the class. So prep, 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 get up there and deliver what's probably your best public speaking thing that you've ever done. And everyone's kind of smirking. And you realize that you went up there with your zipper down the entire time. Ah. This, but were you wearing underwear at the time? I was wearing underwear. <laughs> Okay, Fis, you're in so much. Yeah. Yeah. Same story, no one <laughs> <Yeah. Okay. laughs> okay, so um I'm a grower. <laughs> I, uh there was this time when I was a part of a video podcast and we were doing a live show and uh someone had a wonderful idea to see how many candy dicks that I could fit in my mouth. <laughs> and uh I, I 
gullibly went along with it. <laughs> and I did it. And uh, it was quite embarrassing. Was the best show and impressive. That was the best show. I mean, I'm not going to say it wasn't impressive. I'm just saying that you asked the question with what was the most embarrassing. And, uh... I'm, was, I'm doing really? my damned... I will remain unemployed for life to keep that off of yeah. the internet. Yeah, the, the second... He's looking for a new job. So the second he gets a new job, that some bitch is going yeah, live. Yeah. Yeah. That was our agreement. Really, you made this really handsome writer sit next to you yes. and follow the really intellectual yeah. PhD yeah. that dicks in the mouth. Right. Yeah. 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 There's someone in this room who's all fancy and loves to take pictures all the time who... Maybe if you offered him money, enough money, he would let a few pictures fly. Wait, I didn't post those? You did. You actually Shut did. up, Ted! <laughs> He's trying to make it so you'll buy it. They'll buy it from you. I'm trying to get you some business, bro. <laughs> so, no, this is, this is for love. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, I love you, too. So, sharding is a real thing. <laughs> It, it, End it, story. It, it, it does happen. Can you please leave something to our imagination, please? <laughs> please tell me more. So I was I was 18 and I was in the mall and I had really bad gas and I was walking around and I thought it was funny. I was carpet bombing people, right? I, I thought it was hilarious. And it turned out that uh, one of those came with pieces oh. and uh, <laughs> and I had to I had to kind of do the walk like. And I had to drive home because it was in a mall, right? And now, fortunately, I only embarrassed myself. No one else knew what had happened, okay. what I knew. Right. And it was very... Uh, no one knew that one of the bombs went off in the plane. Yeah, that's right. 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 Yes. Okay. So, so sharding's real. It's a real thing. It's not just a movie. The struggle is real. The struggle is real. <laughs> okay. Wow, I, I think we don't even need to eat the rest of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You win! Yeah. <laughs> All right, are you guys ready for number three? Oh, did we solicit questions? Have we oh, yeah, gone we, and done we've that? Got a couple of okay, all right, Everybody great. If anyone has any other questions, yeah, uh, there's Looks cards. Like okay. Yeah. All right, so number three, you can go ahead and start munching, is the torch bearer sauces, garlic reaper sauce. Mm, I was reaper. using this in my early training, and it is quite tasty, but scova level hot. The scutori level is 116,000. Ooh, all right. All right. <laughs> this one's definitely hot, but it's nice and sweet and fruity, too. Mm. It's a very good taste. Mm -hmm. Damn, this is good. What's this one called? This one is... Um, was oh, this one garlic reaper sauce? Yeah. I gotta get some of this. This is fantastic. They ought to call it the creeper because just wait. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> All right, so your question this round. Oh, yeah. Here it comes. <laughs> ah. Now I got some balls on it. <laughs> Are you where you thought you would be in life? If not, where did you think you would be? Wow. Wow, that's really deep. Which way are we going? Well, there's there's no way I, no way I ever imagined that I have two children. That's that's been the biggest surprise in my life. I even surprised my mother about that one. She said of all the things I never would have guessed for you, but but I'm very glad that I do. So. So Anybody got a feeling it? Hmm? Yeah, a little bit. I think my door. I got a little bit. I got a little bit. I might be dipping into my half and half a little. Yeah. Might be ready. This this one. <laughs> sorry. So, uh, I'm just having a flashback to when I got my lip pierced, <laughs> and there was a, a sudden sharp flash of pain, and then this strange, indescribable bliss. So <laughs> this is kind of where I'm at right now. Bliss or pain? Uh, both. Both. Cool. Painful bliss. Yeah. Thank you. So, um, are we where we thought we'd be in life? Yeah. If That's not, where would, would you? Would you think so two things on this. So I don't know if anyone else experiences as kids, but you get into your head of, hey, I'm going to live until X age, right? And that there's, I don't, I don't see me ever getting older than. That. <coughs> so I, I spent probably my first twenty years convinced that by age twenty seven, for some reason I'd be dead, and there would be nothing after that. But regardless, as a child, I would, I was convinced that I was going to be an astronaut. <coughs> and never pursued anything towards that. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> oh God, I'm getting the feels on this one. God damn it. So, all right, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna like you know open up a little bit. Uh, hold on. 
two failed marriages, right? You know, I'm not proud. Uh, it was humbling, especially the second one. And uh, obviously, and especially at that point, I would have said, I never thought I would have been here. Now I can say it in a completely different way that I never thought I would be here because uh, I met someone in the sixth grade and we became friends and I met someone again in high school who she came up to me and at, at the ice rink we used to go to and she was all like, hey, how you doing? I'm Jenny. Remember me? And I was just like, whoa, whoa. And we started dating. We dated for a year and a half. And then I got stupid and broke up with her because I'm a guy with a penis. But anyway, that's a, that's a separate story. And uh, that's everybody's story. Yeah. <laughs> well, every one of us. But we met up again at the just the right time, and uh, I have never been happier. Oh. And uh, so, Aww. no, I never thought I would be at this point in my life because I never thought I would, it would get this awesome. Wow. Aww. That's great. So, yeah. Oh yeah. That's her. That's the woman. <laughs> Why I gotta call her out like that? <laughs> Yo, I don't. I have never had much to show off in my life. Okay. Link twice. If you need. I love you too. Oh. Oh. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> so, I always, I, I tell you, ever since I was, I don't know, maybe ten. As long as I can remember almost, I wanted to be an engineer, right? And I've taken the hard way there because uh, my plan was in high school that I would graduate and I was going to join the Army because we didn't have a lot of money. I was going to join the Army and get them to pay for my school. I'd go into the Army Corps of Engineers, you know, and become an Army engineer. I'd have them pay for everything, and then when I got done my term, I'd go out into the real world and do engineering things. Um, I, I kind of took a backdoor approach because... I discovered the whole punk rock scene. <laughs> and, oh yeah. yeah. And I, I realized, so when I turned 16 and I got into the whole punk rock scene, I realized I couldn't have anyone barking orders at me because I was like, fuck you, man. I'm not too cool for that. So I didn't do that. And then I didn't go to college. But the high school that I went to was Polytechnic. If you're from around here, you might know about that. It's an engineering prep school. So they prep you to become an engineer when you go to college. So a lot of skills that I picked up from there, I was able to get an engineering job. I was a draftsman, so I started at the very bottom. This is the busser of engineering. Um, so uh, I worked my way up, and, and now I work for I work at Aberdeen Proving Grounds. I'm a prototype engineer. Uh, I'm and this uh, this Saturday was my last day as a civvy. I'm a civil servant now. Wow. So as of, as, as of Tuesday, I start my government career. You're Govy wow. now, huh? Govy. I'm a G man. Wow. So, and, and this is, the, now, where I didn't realize where I was going to be is I had a kid. I never had any intention yeah. of having a kid, and I did, and it's the greatest fucking thing ever, ever. Yeah. Like, nothing compares. Yep. And I would never have known that. And, uh, but, but I will say to people who, who don't have kids or are, like, not kid people, this is not a dig on them, not having kids is okay, too. I mean, if you don't have kids, that's fine, too. Um, yeah. it, you know, you can have a fulfilling life as that as well. I think what it, what it becomes is you don't miss something you don't have. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and there are people who say, you know, well, I'm not ready for kids. No one's ready for kids. Um, I don't have enough money for kids. No one has enough money for kids. But you make it work. It happens. You can do it. So, yeah, whatever. So, anyway, that's me. Cool. All right. Let's do a quick, before we move on, let's do a quick check-in. How, how, uh, how's your mouth? I'm okay. Are you? Yeah. No sensation? You just let me know. I got, no, I got a little heat. I got a little heat, but I'm okay. Yeah, I got... I, I, mean, I, I just... dipped in. I, I will admit, I dipped. I'm uh, half and half. I dipped into my half and yeah, half. Okay. <laughs> so, but I'm, I'm okay. All right. I'm definitely on fire. I can't. <laughs> I probably will dip in on this next one. Yeah. But how are you feeling? Uh, it's got a good tingle. Yeah. But it's more like after you've eaten twelve to eighteen buffalo wings. Yeah. It's probably it. This is probably my favorite sauce and sauce level. I wouldn't really mm. yeah. normally yeah. ever want to go any higher. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. I, got, I have a glow, but I think it's the endorphins. It's the runner's high. The, the wing eater's high is definitely good. <laughs> <laughs> you just wait. Yeah. <laughs> you just wait. Hallucinations are, are a foot. <laughs> All right, so you guys ready? Go ahead. And no. Is this, which one's this? This is number four. Okay. This is right. the bomb. The bomb. Beyond wow. Insanity. Okay. This one comes in at 135. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, no. Don't stop reading. Don't, don't stop reading. This is, this yeah. is the one that tastes like shit. The last don't one. Don't rub your eyes. Two, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was 116. Oh, so it's another 10. Hurry, I'm stuck here alone, guys. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> 
this oh, one has. God, this tastes like ass. It, it has pepper. <laughs> <laughs> it has Chase pepper like extract. Well, if any of you can smell <laughs> this, it's oh, it's awful. It's really good. I wouldn't put that on anything. No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. These two smell the worst. Out of <laughs> <laughs> this is the one they're doing now. Have you guys ever was like, I really wonder what that tastes like? No. Not, you know, whatever. No. If you watch the show. I'm good, I'm good. I can't even look at it. I've always wondered what it tastes like, and now, I don't, I don't, oh, I'm pretty sure this tastes like possum scrotum. I didn't know we that choice of that. Spicy possum scrotum. Oh. Okay, that's got heat. Oh, yeah. A, a, a possum that sh- that that uh, sharded himself. <laughs> okay. All right. So your question. It's, act- you it's actually. Uh, it's a- whoa! It's actually nasty. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh. All right. You guys ready for yeah, the question? Uh, no. <laughs> so, what is the craziest cab, Uber, or Lyft ride you've been in? Okay. So I I was thinking about this earlier. I've always had mundane ones, but whenever I get into a cab, I ask the cabbie, what's the craziest ride you've ever had? So the best story I heard about that, the guy said he got a call on a military base. Came to pick up the guy. The guy was wasted, beyond drunk. He was just kind of on another plane somewhere. So he gets in the back of his cab. They're driving. The guy's yelling. He's talking to himself and nonsense. All of a sudden, the guy reaches behind the driver and shoves a handful of pills into his mouth. So the driver quickly spits them out, screeches to a halt, gets out of the car, closes the doors, locks the guy in the car. And the guy is so high, he can't figure out that, like, you could unlock it from the inside. (laughs) So this guy is like, ah, banging on the windows inside this locked car, and he's on the phone with his dispatch saying, I think he called the military base, I'm come get this dude. So that made me decide never, never be an Uber driver. (laughs) That was a very lovely story. I didn't hear a guy. Can you tell it again? So. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I was in labor for 90 hours. I think I'm going to get this one too. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Though. I'm going to hit her. So that one's a little deceptive. It's a slow burn. So, so not only does it taste like possum scrotum. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, it sneaks up on you about two minutes later. Yeah, it's an ambush. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, remember when you were so? Hey, yes, absolutely. Do the three men on the panel really wish that their hairlines were back at this point in time? <laughs> <laughs> Up the sweat. Yeah. No, I, oh God, oh good. The sweat. Oh good. The sweat is actually helping. <laughs> so, so I, I've said it before in jest. For those of us on the panel that actually have a scrotum, or it's not a scrotum. I've got, I've got Paul's possum scrotum on the mind. Uh, for those of us on the panel that actually have a sphincter, I, I feel sorry. <laughs> So, so back to the question. Make sure you do not touch her. I already did. So, all the laughter in this room is echoing, like in movies where the person is in a stage where, like, my vision is done. This. I'm not seeing double. I'm hearing double. So, anyone ever see the crazy? <laughs> Anyone ever see the crazy Asian movies where the stupid American gets into the cab and they race through the city and, and you've got about this much space between the cars? So when you're in the Navy, you actually get to live the movies. So the craziest one I had was actually in Hong Kong. So we stopped in for a port stop. And... <laughs> So how are you talking? Uh, so so what's what's the favorite activity other than fornicating of young sailors when they hit a port stop? Drinking. Drinking. So of course, excuse me. 
<laughs> so the first thing we do is we, we schedule a beer barge. So the beer barge, you get on it, they lock you on the barge, and you go around the, the bay drinking. So then we get, we get done with that around 10 o'clock at night, and we're like, yes. You know, there's a party across town. So we ordered a taxi cab. And literally, it was out of the movies. So you had six or seven drunk sailors in the back of this decrepit taxi cab where we were afraid <laughs> if we pushed our feet down too far, they would, go. they would go through because it was that rusty. I had a car like that. And, and we were literally rubbing the other cars rubbing. as we go by. <laughs> going about... <laughs> going, going about... 70 miles an hour. Yeah. So, you okay? <laughs> she did an inside joke and it wasn't fair. I almost did a spit take. <laughs> I hate you. Oh, I hate you. Fuck you with these things, man. What was the question? <laughs> what was the goddamn question? Kevin! What was the craziest cab, Uber, or Lyft drive that you've been in? Oh, <sighs> <sighs> I okay, so one does come to mind. So I just right ago I was finally from a divorce. So I was all the way from work to go to the courthouse. And I'm like, you know, I'm trying to I'm talking to this guy who the driver, I was like, yeah, man. So I'm on my way to like, you know, finally break the chain, blah 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 blah. Life, you're no longer speaking English. <laughs> oh, oh, but I <laughs> He's trying to talk about using his tongue. <laughs> <laughs> finally, have I have finally you? for a divorce. And he's like, oh, yeah, man. And, and, and Evan Elliott, it, it gave him a license to talk, and he thought that it, we, Evan Elliott, we were on the same page. And he started talking about how all these women he has on the side, and, and now he hopes his wife <laughs> doesn't find out. Yeah. And, and, uh, <laughs> and this... <sighs> and it was just very uncomfortable because I was just like, yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I'm like, oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. And I'm just like, God, hurry up with me. How far is this? It's like a three minute drive. What the hell? That was kind of just an awkward. <laughs> I'm at a different place in my life. <laughs> No, you can't. Dude, dude, my, my eyes are literally burning right now because of your poke. Wow. I don't have any eyebrows. Flames came out. Cab. Uh, all right, so, so I don't really do cabs very often at all. I Like almost never or Ubers. But I'll tell you, I hitchhiked one time. Does this count? Does that count? Yes. Sure, sure. <laughs> so I hitchhiked one time, and, I, and it's a fucking van. So I get in the van. It's me and my buddy. Uh, well, he's not really from anymore, but Lawrence. guy Lawrence, Mer Lawrence, right? Yes. So me and Lawrence get in this van. And I was like, yeah, come on. I'll give you a ride. Right? And he's driving down the road, and it's like... It's, it's, how many got, licks did it take? Uh, how many? What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go okay. ahead. I, my ears are... Yeah. Are popping. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, so uh, he he's like, come on, let's go. We're driving down the road. And he pulls a beer out from a bag between the seats. And he like, and, we, and then I, that's when I noticed all the, all the fucking empty beer cans in the back of the van, right? And he's like, you guys want a beer? I'm like, no, I, no, I'd really rather you, you didn't. <laughs> back in the day, they called that grooming. Right, that was yeah. pre-gaming, right? So... Uh, uh, yeah, so, I mean, it wasn't crazy, but it, uh, you know, that I'm just not not more to the story than that. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't really yeah. take cats that much. Yeah, yeah. Here's the fucked up part. I'm gonna say right now, I am just now starting to come down off of that. Yeah. Awful. I'm feeling better. Awful wing. Yeah. I'm feeling better. Yeah. And I, 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 I mean, hey, we, we have time. It's, it's 9:42. Yeah. We have plenty of time. We can He's waste some time. Yeah, we don't need to yeah, there, go. No. There's no hurry. Fall so. deep into this here <laughs> way. So, I mean, of, of the four that would be eaten, which one, by, not heat, but just flavor wise, is the Three best. was gone. That was good. Yeah, three, three was the, best. Three, the, three was that, the tastiest. The, uh, the yeah. pork berry sauces, garlic yeah. berry sauce. That, that was really good. That's in my fridge. That's what yeah. I was using for training. And I was, I yeah. got to the point where I could just. Like, you know, on um, trips. I mean, yeah. The bomb, is, that's like insult to injury. Like, not only yeah. is it hot, but it tastes awful. Yeah. It's like metal. Yeah. Here, here's here's yeah. the thing. Yeah. Have you ever imagined what skunk piss actually tastes like? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I imagine it tastes like. 
anyone with the coolies can. I have two extra of each wing. Anyone with the coolies can yeah. try it. Yeah. Go ahead. Go for it. Oh god. Where's it going? Where are they? Number number four. Do number five. Any of these? No. Go to three. <laughs> Watch out there with the, you, you, you might be um, camera. Black. You might be mooning the camera. <laughs> Sweet child of mine. You're fine. Oh, okay. Oh, it's up there. Sorry. Three and five. Three and five. Three and five. Oh, you want number five. Oh, oh, I was saying who has the balls to do four, but whatever. Whatever. I've heard five tastes better than four. Okay. Really? Okay. Yeah, that's what I hear too. I, Hi. Hi. For anybody that wants to yeah. look these up, this yeah. is from the Hot One Series Season 8. That's when they did these. How can, many scotch is pepper spray? <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. oh, I don't know. I feel like it's like, you know, like, two million. like a cop. Like, hey, how's it going to banaka? Okay. So, how many of that? Cop banaka. Cop banaka. How many have actually seen an episode of, of, of Hot Ones? So my first <laughs> one that I viewed was today. Oh, so so you agreed to this before you knew what you were agreeing? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. I, I was I was completely innocent. Right, they, they tricked me. Right, <laughs> but the but the Gordon Ramsay one is one I watched today. <laughs> you think he swears on his regular shows? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, yeah. And he's a drama queen. Oh, but this Jesus. is interesting. There is there was a scientific study that. They hit people's hands with a hammer, and then they either were allowed to swear or to not swear. And the people who did swear reported lower That's, levels of yeah, pain. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. swearing does have an yeah. anesthetic yeah. effect. Yeah. That's why I swear. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fuck it, eh? Yeah. All right. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Three million. So Pepper Valley is three, three million, and how much is number five? Number five. Two million. Two million. So we're two thirds yeah. the way to. Copland. To hell. Yeah, so, Copland. so hold on. Copland. I'm going to put this out there to, to the panel first, and we can see we can vote if we want to let everyone else uh, decide this. Should she ask the question, but or uh, should each one of us have to take the bite and then answer as we've taken the bite? Yes. 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 To do that. Well, like, well, I actually have enough individual questions for all of you. Really? So you really oh. Know. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. all right. Yeah. Yeah. General question. Okay. General. Yeah, yeah. Yes. All right, so this is going to be the bite first. Yes, the bite yes. first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so this is the hot ones. Last and then we count to ten, yes. and then you answer. Wow. Okay, so two million. Yeah. So we're each getting one of those. What are we doing? Yeah, and then I'll answer. Okay. Uh, what are we doing? So we're going to bite. Take a bite. Oh, she's yeah. going to She's gonna read the question. The group is going to count to ten together, and then we answer while we're still chewing. So you can't, like, squeak out the answer before the second answer. All right, but we're going one at a time. So one at a time, because everybody's getting a different question. Gotcha, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm in. Let's do it. All right. All right. Can we get water? Can we get, like, one yeah, of you getting a water? Yeah, yeah Violet, you don't need anything to drink. I'm, I'm trying to gut it through. I want the full experience. Do you want so, water? I'll, I'll, when, I'm, when, I'm, when, I'm, when I'm ready to tap out, I'll grab the half of it. Right, but you, you okay. guys don't have to bite until she's... So, uh, it's gonna That's fine. Rats, right? okay. Yeah, you can well, watch you first. Do you want some water? Hurts, right? Yeah, water is no good. I don't. I, care. I <laughs> you know what? It's You're the manipulation of that. doing something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It does cool. Thank you. Thank you. What do you think, Cooley? Three's good. Three's good. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. Good. yeah. yeah. Told you. Yeah. I'm gonna get that. That's My good. sinuses are clearing up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm actually breathing out. It's hot. Like hot yes. is coming yeah. out of my sinuses. Yes. Yeah. Tracaris. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting that too. Yeah, yeah. Tracaris. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys ready? <laughs> who's going? Who's eating first? You. All right. <laughs> are you sure you know? All right, let's do this. All right, ready? Oh, fuck. What's the most extravagant thing you've done for a love or a crush? Ooh, that's a good one for, for her. And I just want to say, thanks for taking the heat on this. All right, you don't have to finish it. You don't have to. Six, seven, oh, eight, God damn it, she set me down. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> Our own boyfriend. If you can only see... He liked the way I smell. He was a, like, garage... Not garage, bicycle punk... This is so dumb. Why am I saying this? <laughs> For his birthday, I thought it would be a great idea if I made a me-scented perfume. Oh. So, for three weeks, what? before I woke up in the morning when I was still kind of stinky, I coated my armpits with coconut oil <laughs> and then scraped it off until I had like a little vial of my stinky, sweaty armpit coconut oil. And I presented it to him. And he was... 
not receptive. <laughs> Right now, I want to call this best guest we've ever fucking had ever. That's the best answer to anything. Round of applause. That is awesome. And now I'm married to my wonderful husband who loves the way that I smell. And there you I go. have to make a deal for him. So, would you, would, you, would, you, would, you like, would you like some me-scented dick? Why am I saying this out loud? Okay, because you know that I would. <laughs> okay, alright. That's true love. Okay. Take one for the team. <laughs> How you feeling? This is actually easier than the bomb, in my opinion. Hmm. That's what I've heard. Okay. It was two million. I saw it. This one, this one I can actually swallow. This is this is a hot tasting. I want to go next. Can I go next? No, I just want to get it over with. I'm dying. No. no. God damn it! <laughs> alright, Scott. Yeah. Go ahead and start eating. <laughs> Which Marvel character would be the best lover and why? <laughs> yeah. One, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. Yeah. Tastes good. Yeah. So, which Marvel character? Mm -hmm. Which one would you want to get it on with? That's not. What well, no, that's not the question. The question is, which would be the best lover? What do you want to get it on with the worst lover? But you still... No, no, no. You don't have to get it on. Doesn't mean you have. It's not like who's the most attractive to you. Who's, who would be the best? Hmm. Oh, we learned a lot about you, Bruce. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gamora would be the answer. <laughs> Close second. Close second. That's my second. If you had both of them, would that be a greensum? I'm. I'm <laughs> There's heat coming out of your nose. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, um. You're killing me, Smalls! Come on! <laughs> Jean Grey. Okay. Why? Why? Because she can make us, make us float. <laughs> It'd be like being in outer space. Yeah. Am I there with you guys? Oh, okay. Hey, you know what else you can you do? Know, you know, it would be like we're in outer space. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got about five minutes more. Alright, Mike, you ready? Start eating. Alright, here we go. Pause. Yeah. Alright, if you had the complete infinity gauntlet, what would your snap do? Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't think you said snap. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Nine, ten, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Why is this wing going down so slowly? Yeah. <laughs> because your tongue stopped working. <laughs> oh my god. Let me out of my nose! Okay. Yes. What was the question? <laughs> if you had the complete infinity gauntlet, what would your snap do? Oh my god, why do I want to go all, all, uh, all feelsy again? I would go back in time and I would snap so that... No, no don't say it. Damn it! <laughs> That's cheating. Oh, um... Oh, I would, oh, god damn it. It really does slow down. You need to count to, like, 50. Yes. And then it hits you. Okay. I don't know. Um, I'm going to do something responsible. If I had the infinity, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Trick question. If When did I do the snap? Am I going to die? Ooh, the only way to play the game is not to do the snap. I'm on to you, Corey. <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> You're delirious. <laughs> Answer the question. <laughs> You're like, Can I have what you've been taking? Yeah. <laughs> Captain Marvel, I'm on to you. Yeah, we got. <laughs> you, we got. <laughs> I would. Uh, that was that was two million milligrams of LSD. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we got to hurry up, dude. Come on. No, I don't. I was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I would do something good in the world, like, uh, oh, God, I can't so get political. I would give myself a superpower. Fuck, let's do self like, like having an infinity gauntlet? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I would snap for five more snaps. <laughs> And, and now, now you can graduate from middle school. Hey, I can tell you one thing. The big difference would be Mike would snap like this. Right. <laughs> right. Last question. We gotta hurry up. Right, ready, go. All right, so so I I peeled mine loose. Oh wow! All right. Are there any technology or science advances you wish hadn't happened? If so, why? Mm. One, One, two, two I got rooked. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Yeah, that is hard to get through. One. Uh, scientific advance I wish hadn't happened. Um. Damn. No, I love science. It's hard to say. Um. Why do I have an answer for this one? I kind of wish, I, so I kind of, in, in some ways, I kind of wish we had never discovered nuclear energy. Um, it's a great, it's, it's, a, it's actually, it's a wonderful thing. The, the, the power plants, you know, cradle to grave are the, the greenest energy out there. And, and you can argue with me all you want, but I'm just going by what, what, I, what I've read, um, what the, the nuclear scientists say. Uh, and of course, whatever. Uh, <laughs> But at the same time, it, the downside on that is what? so. Um, the downside is just it's almost not worth it because, you know, at the drop of a hat, we could destroy ourselves. So um, I just I, I kind of wish it hadn't happened. So you wish we'd never discovered the bomb? Right. Yes. Yeah. I, I wish I had I never really discovered the bomb. I, I, yes. I would snap the bomb out of existence. Right, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to say, unless this thing sneaks up, keeps sneaking up, it will. Me. It'll okay. keep sneaking. Okay. It sneaks. Uh, it's a sneaker. All right. We gotta wrap it up. This is it. All right. So, everybody, thank you. I'm not even gonna read the outro. It's too long. Thanks for joining us for the Mythwits. Check us out, Mythwits.com. Let's clean up quick. How can I cry? Exactly. Can I have the half and half, please? Oh, you so much. Oh my goodness.